Hey, it's Bob the Toolman here. Today I'm going to show you how to change the blade on a Black & Decker jigsaw. For this demonstration I'm going to use these two models of Black & Decker KS501 and KS901 which have two different types of jigsaw blade holders. Black & Decker KS501 is a basic entry-level electrical corded jigsaw with 400 watts of power and has a constant speed. It can be used to make straight cut or 45 degrees bevel cuts. It does have a lock-on switch and it's ideal for light applications. On the other side we have uh, KS901 which is a corded jigsaw with 620 watts of power and has 4 cutting positions. Position that can be adjusted. Position 0 is for metal and aluminum. Position 1 is for laminates and hardwood. Position 2 is for playwood and PVC or plastic. And position 3 is for softwood and fast cutting. Uh, both of the jigsaw machines have adjustable shoe which can be adjusted from 22.5 up to 45 degrees both on the left and the other side. Before I show you how to change the jigsaw blade, let me explain you a little bit about them. Jigsaw blades can be classified by the type of shank they have, the number of teeth they have, by the type of metal they are made of, and by the material they can be used to cut. The shank is the part of the blade that locks into the blade clump of a jigsaw and blades are categorized primarily being either a T-shank or U-shank. Most manufacturers are now using T-shank blades as a standard which makes it easier to switch blades between different machines. U-shank blades are still available but the T-shank has become more popular as most jigsaw are now fitted with a toolless blade change to make swapping blades faster and easier. We need a flat screwdriver in order to change the jigsaw blade on KS501 model. Here we have two screws that we need to loosen up in order to fit the jigsaw blade. Just don't take them out, just loosen up enough so you can fit the blade inside. See? Just enough to fit the blade inside. Now, this model is using only the U shank blade, so we're gonna put the blade in the blade holder. You have to for face the teeth towards outside the machine, not inside, and to fit the blade inside the jigsaw holder blade. See, now when everything, and also the jigsaw blade need to lie on a jigsaw guide. Now you can, we screw the, we tighten the screws. Both of them, of course. And after that, we will check if the blade is, fit, is fitted well because when we plug in inside in the, the power we don't want the blade to go out now let's test it so, we're gonna unplug this model of jigsaw with the T shank it's not for the KS501 so I'm gonna show you how to chain the jigsaw on a KS901 it's a lot easier than the KS501 has a keyless uh, jigsaw holder and it can accept both now we're gonna fit the T shank Jigsaw is the same procedure like when you insert the jigsaw in a KS401 501 sorry 
we just push push the lever backwards and we fit the blade and that's it. See it's quite easier than when you do that with a screwdriver. Now we're gonna take it out, see? It's quite easier. It's very easy, it's very easy. In this model we need to use a screwdriver and unscrew the screws. We are just losing a little bit more time for that, but KS501 is just entry and economical model. We still do like jobs at home. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell button so you can receive updates every time I upload a new video. Also down below I will include links where you can purchase both of the jigsaw machines and spare blades as well. And also I will include downloadable links where you can download instructions for both of the machines. Thank you for watching and see you.